Welcome to my YouTube video on setting up S-Build. First question that you will want to know is why do you want to use S-Build? Well, S-Build rebuilds Debian binary packages from the corresponding Debian source. The build takes place in a dedicated clean environment called a chair root rather than on the host system and because this chair root is used your regular host system is not cluttered up with a whole bunch of hyphen DEV packages so this is the primary reason that people use sbuild also it is used by Debian to build all their packages Now, if you do go to your search engine and do a search on the string sbuild, the first entry that will come up will be sbuild Debian Wiki. This web page will describe everything you need to know to install and set up sbuild. There are basically five steps outlined. The first two steps are per computer that runs sbuild. You can run them yourself and install and build the keys for sbuild. The third and fourth step is per user that's going to use sbuild. So for every user that's going to be using sbuild, you should do step three, which adds the user to the sbuild group. Step four is necessary, logging out and logging in is necessary to activate step three. Now step five is complex. I am going to copy it now to my paste window. And let's bring up a version in color. In fact, let's get our magnifier to look at this string carefully. Now in the string, we find in red the string SID. That represents the version of Debian that we are building for. In this case it's SID, which is another name for unstable. So if we were building for unstable, perhaps we're building a package to be included in Debian, we would use SID. But I am using testing, so I want to replace SID with the string testing. Now in green, we see AMD64. That is an architecture. Now if we bring up, let's get rid of the magnification. If we bring up a console window, and type arch. It says I686. Does that mean I should use I686 for the architecture stream and replace that string AMD64 by I686? Well, the answer is no. If we take the time to go back to our browser and look at a typical Debian package. This packet that's found with the uh, Debian packages. This one I've looked at Emacs 23, which is a very commonly used package. And we look at the supported architectures. There's no I686 string, but there is an I386 string. So that is the string we should use 
to build our chair root. Let's go back to the console window and we will enter that string on our typing buff buffer. As I mentioned before, we want to change the string SID to testing. Perhaps you will be running Jesse and you might want to change that SID string to Jesse. And the AMD64 string, we're going to change that to I386 because that is a architecture that is supported under Debian. So this is the string we would type enter and then enter the root's password at this point. But we're not going to do that because I've already done it on my system. But you should do it on your system as you are building up. This is the fifth step in the sbuild wiki page. Let's go and examine that page further. Here are some defaults that you can set up in your .buildrc file. This will set up some defaults your, and you can read about the defaults you're setting up. One is the distribution that's SID. You might want to set that to testing or Jesse instead unless you're building to, for unstable to get your package into Debian or something. Okay, there is a description of what you should do to update the packages that are installed in your chair root. And here it is in the DBNS build wiki description. Let's bring that to a console window. As I said before, I should change SID to testing. And the arch I should set to I386. So let's run that. It's going to ask for a password. And this command takes quite a long time to run, so I believe I will pause recording at this point. Okay, we are back from recording, from record pausing, and our command has completed and it has ensured that a lot of packages are installed. Now going back to the sbuild wiki, it shows commands for building a source package. One suggestion that it makes is to cd to a source directory debianized package and simply run sbuild. I need to warn you that that can fail because it will attempt to do a clean in the context of your system. And if the clean has dependencies, this command can fail. This is an undocumented fact. The better way to build a package is to use the second method, which is to use sbuild specifying a DSC file. When that message method is used, the clean will not be done in the context of your local computer and you won't have that problem. So this is all I need to tell you about setting up sbuild. We will end the video at this point.